is the story of Willow Rock, of the great new Ford bomber plant, stretching almost as far as the eye can see. Here are built planes for the arsenal of democracy to blast the Jap from the Pacific, to hammer at the heart of the Nazi war machine in fortress Europe. And this is the story of the men and women who make those planes, the workers of Willow Rock. is the story of the lives of Willow Run's people, where they go when the day's work is finished. A high living standard means good workers. Good housing, food, and recreation pay off dividends on the production line. Just last fall, Willow Run was nothing more than pasture land. No homes for workers, not even a sewage or a water system. Here, housing was a vital wartime need. And so the Federal Public Housing Authority began a big job, the job of building a city of homes, a city which would eventually accommodate 20,000 people. Prefabricated, factory-built houses shipped in panels literally rose up in a day. Speedy but efficient construction to keep pace with the ever-growing demand. Community centers are also part of the project. This one, now under construction, will contain a school, stores, offices, recreation facilities, and a health clinic. The Willow Run Community Housing Area is divided into six separate projects, together covering four and a half square miles of land. And all housing is within walking distance of the bomber plant. These homes have been constructed solely to meet the needs of new employees recruited throughout the country. Here is convenient, comfortable, sanitary housing provided at low cost to those who build the planes so necessary to America's war effort. Individual homes like these have been designed for workers with families. <laughs> problems involved in locating here. Workers who come to the plant, bags in hand, are registered and on the same day are assigned accommodations in the project. A complete registry of all available housing in the area, public and private, is maintained so that workers will be given the type of housing they and their families require. Primarily for single men and women, this dormitory has all the advantages of a fine hotel, including maid and janitorial service, and lounges where the residents may entertain. The Willow Run War Housing Center acts as a nucleus for the entire project. Carlton Sharp, regional director, presides at a meeting of the area management and resident representatives. Sherwood Reader, Detroit FPHA director, and Guy Larkham, management supervisor of the community, inspect part of the new sewage system. At the administration building, new arrivals in the community enter to register for home. A daily scene as the plant's steadily increasing production schedules require more and more workers. A complete community in every respect. Willow Run has its own fire department 
with two fire stations and a paid force on 24-hour duty. For added protection, there is supplemented a volunteer system. Spiritual uplift is the concern of every American community. And here, despite the record growth of Willow Run, religion has not been neglected. All denominations are represented, and services for all groups are held each Sunday in the community hall. For the care of the sick, a 70-bed infirmary has been provided. Staffed by a full-time nursing unit and two resident physicians, it is modern in every respect. To further protect the health of the community, a visiting nurses association is also maintained. For the many children of the community, Willow Run has its own school system. This includes not only three schools caring for children up to the eighth grade, but kindergarten and day nursery classes as well. After work, a short walk or the use of a convenient bus line brings workers back to the Willow Run community. Here, an evening of recreation may begin at one of the two great cafeterias, which together serve over 8,000 meals daily. Food of high quality at reasonable prices. All meals are carefully planned by a staff of dietitians. population comes from all sections of the country. They live in a model community. Although housing is temporary, most facilities such as stores, schools, and community buildings are permanent and will remain after the war. Girl residents of one of the large modern dormitories spruce up for the evening. This may be spent shopping in many stores. perhaps at Willow Run's own theater, operated by Telenews. Others may find recreation in one of the community centers where amusements range from ping pong to jitterbug dancing. study the arts in free instruction classes. This is the story of Willow Run, its people and the town in which they live. A small community now, but one which someday may develop into a great American city. <laughs>